Saturday morning to you, everyone. This is Eric, the Rural Extra, here with you. We are still in, in the little town of Sapphire, uh, North Carolina, still on our little vacation, mini vacation with my wife, and, and uh, um, on our anniversary, our 21st anniversary. Um, but we are fixing to head out this morning. Uh, we got up, and it was a brisk about 26 28 degrees it's probably a little bit uh, uh, warmer than that now but uh, it was pretty cold and um, but that's fine it's a beautiful day uh, we're fixing to head out like I said but uh, first we're going to take you on a little tour uh, just across the road in Sapphire Valley Valley Ski Resort and like I told you yesterday uh, we actually uh, spent some time over there uh, several years ago, back in the early 2000s, uh, not long after me and my wife first got married. And uh, so we are going to take a little tour over there and drive around and show you a little bit of the, uh, the resort. So come along and join us, if you will. All right, we just pulled out from uh, our hotel up on the hill and we're fixing to turn into <clears throat> Sapphire Valley Ski Resort down here as you can see the sign coming up so we're fixing to turn in here right now oh. and there's always someone that comes flying up on my rear end they love to drive fast around here for some reason on these uh, roads around Sapphire Valley <laughs> I don't know why Got in horseback trail rides. Sounds like they have a lot of um, activities to be to do around here. That's the rec center. Is that the rec center? Okay. Yeah, there's the little um, mini golf. Mini golf, yeah. Mini golf. Here we are. This is the little miniature golf course right outside the rec center. Just pull in here to uh, stop and show you what what we're looking at. Sort of behind that fence there. So you can't hardly see much there, but uh, you can see a little bit. Some painting around here. see out this way <clears throat> don't know if they can see much at all <clears throat> these are some villa there's some villas here on the side look like here. Well, 
also have a golf course here. Do what? They also have a golf course. Yeah. And tennis courts and everything. Tennis courts, you know, it's definitely a resort. I mean, all kinds of activities. Skiing, golfing, tennis, miniature golf, restaurant, I don't know what. That's the library. Is that the library? Yeah. There's the library. Up there. Restaurant. It's a restaurant. Really fancy, schmancy restaurant. I'm not sure what that is there. Oh, that's just a pavilion. I bet they probably have outdoor seating area out there in the summer and spring. Here comes a car spring. on that. I guess that is the end of our tour. Not much here that we could see. So, pretty much seen what we could. And we're gonna head on up the road towards Highlands and take a different route back. So we may get some more uh, driving footage a little bit later. There's more we'll that way. Is and that way. <laughs> that way. Yeah. Probably just villas. There are villas, but I mean, there is more to see. It's just this is going to take us back up there to that restaurant. Yes, registration. Yeah. Yeah. And Micah's. Micah's, yeah. Which you couldn't get a picture of, really. So, it's right there. Oh, yeah, there's Micah's. So they actually have their own entrance into it from the Sapphire Valley thing. Yeah, because it's part of the Sapphire Valley. Yeah. It's one of their own site restaurants. Now this is, uh, this is the restaurant that we, me and Teresa have eaten at for the past two nights. And again, I highly recommend it. It is very good. Um, as I said before, the, the um, food is a little expensive, but the service is really good. And... Uh, food is fantastic it was full here last night we had to park in that upper parking lot behind us and walk a little bit to get to it because it was so full here so I think we're going to end the tour here because there's really nothing else to see but except a bunch of villas and all which we already kind of showed you so we're going to head out head on up to highlands and whenever we get to an area we'll start the driving video again all right here we are we just came through downtown highlands uh, which is about 10 miles from where we stayed which is in sapphire and only about oh uh, maybe five miles from the little town of Cashers that we were in. We was just outside of Cashers in Sapphire. Cashers isn't very far from uh, Highlands. Turn that up there so we can get more of the road and less of the hood of our car. And then turn around here just a little bit. There we go.
<laughs> turkeys on the roof. Not goats on the roof. Roof. Turkeys on the roof. An acupuncture place. <laughs> An acupuncture. Yeah. Better not acupuncture those things too good. They'll deflate. So I've been informed that we're going to Sky Valley, which is another ski resort area. Used and I, I hmm. Used to be. Used to be. Yeah. It's still not. It's not still. Not that I know of. Hmm. Well, that's odd because I remember back when I was in in um, college, and um, right out of high school. The year was 1984, the latter part of the year, and I think it was right around this time of the year, that um, we got a bunch of snow, and this was up at uh, Cleveland, Georgia, at Truett McConnell College, where I went to school for about a oh, quarter of a year, half a year, up until Christmas, and then I decided it just wasn't for me and dropped out. But anyway, that's another story for another time. But anyway, we got snowed out of classes, and so a bunch of us piled in the car and drove up to Sky Valley and went snow skiing. That was the one and only time that I've ever been snow skiing, and I've, that was one of the coldest times of my life that I w was, and I was not good at it. Never could get it, so I just never did try anymore after that. But I think that is the same place that we are going today and from what Teresa says it's not still a ski resort anymore when did they close it down or do you know anything it's been about a while back they just it just wasn't popular because I guess this area didn't get cold enough it's still in Georgia mm. it's too hard to maintain the snow on it yeah, they probably have to make the snow most of the time anyway. If I'm not badly mistaken, they had uh, snow making machines up there that made the snow, but it just wasn't that big of a thing here probably in, in Georgia and just didn't draw enough people up there to sustain it. Why not? We got a pull-off, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful spot. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are to overlook on the way out of um, Highlands, North Carolina. And we just got a few miles out of town and saw this overlook and, and uh, stopped here. So as you can see, over my left shoulder, the overlook back over there. back around I want to get my ugly mug out of the out of there and let you take a look at it without me being in the shot beautiful country up here beautiful country All right, fixing to take off again from our Overlook pit stop here for a second. And... Here comes people. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> I ain't gonna give them the whole thing. I gotta have room to get out too. Look for me on that side. Anything good, come? You're good, you're good, 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 Turn left onto Old Mud Creek Road. I want to turn in here because I want to get some pictures of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see this. This is absolutely, insanely unique. You don't see this anymore. And I've got, I'm going to show you here in just a second what, what I'm talking about. Look at this old Sinclair gas sign here. Isn't this neat? You just don't see stuff like this on the side of the road anymore, at least not around here. Now you can probably in other parts of the country. I wanna swing on around here. I want you to see this, this building here. This is really neat. This whole building. Fountain, Coca-Cola, and candies. That is really nostalgic. Now look at this one over here. The old Sinclair sign. I'll get a better shot of that. Here we go. I just want you to look at all of these old antique nostalgic signs along through here just really neat all the signs especially this coca-cola sign country store country store you just don't see these kind of signs anymore well you do usually in certain places like a Cracker Barrel, places like that. You just don't see them on the side of the road much anymore, though. Look at this one up here. You can't even, it's so faded out, you can't even tell what it is anymore. Look at these right here. Old 7-Up. That's really old right there. Really old Pepsi. This place. This is 
so interesting, so unique. All right, as you can see, you can see the Sinclair. That's one Sinclair sign, but then there's another one, this, an old one behind us, and it's really... It's a this, dinosaur. It, yeah, it's a dinosaur. It is really, really neat. But, all right, now we are starting up on Mud, mud Trail Road? Mud Creek or Mud something. Something. <laughs> mud something road. Old Mud Creek Road. Old Mud Creek Road. This is a really neat place right here. Just, just don't see that too much anymore unless you get re really out into the boonies and all. And this is really neat. I just thought it was really neat. Now, I don't know if they... In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Sky Valley Way. I don't know if they fixed it up that way on purpose or if it was originally like that and it's just been kept that way all these years. I really don't know. But it's either way is really neat. Extremely neat. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Resort and Country Club. Yeah, this is where the ski thing was. Right. I just want to go through here. So now it's just a resort, I guess, not yeah. a ski, a ski place anymore. Unless they've had chains. Yeah. In half a mile, you'll arrive at Sky Valley Country Club. All right. I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but I think this did used to be a ski resort up here at one time. I don't know how big a, a ski resort it was, ever was. I don't remember much about it. That was back in my early, early, early days. I was probably about 17 or 18 whenever we came up here. I was in... Um, arrive in 1,000 feet. I take it that this is it right here. Well, this is a country club. Yeah. But there's more to see if you go on yeah. the road. Look at that the chapel over there. It's really out. pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. That's a nice... Wow, that's a big swimming pool, too. We have to stay up here one more time. Yeah. I bet it's expensive. <laughs> I'm just going to pull in here real quick. I'll probably... Just a minute, yep. Yeah. Right ahead of us is the uh, swimming pool we're talking about. I'll pull around here and see if I can't get it. Well, I don't see anybody else is going to stop us. All right. This is the uh, swimming pool we're talking about. This is on the side of the main lodge here. And here's coming up on the right is the lodge. I don't think that's a lodge. I think that's just a recreation center. Well, recreation center is it's the, it's the resort. I would call it the lodge. Well, I consider a lodge where you sleep. You don't sleep in that thing. But whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that's a big pool. Nice pool, just to give you a uh, taste of what it looks like.
one right? I bet that was part of it. Part of it right there. I bet that was the ski trail right there at one time. Yeah, I bet you. took you up there or something. In fact, you come down and it goes on down through here because there's lights if you look right over here. Yeah. All right. This is, um, we just okay. happened to realize that I think we just stumbled across part of the old um, ski trails up here. I don't know if there was one, one or more, but if you can see right through the woods, right through there, there is an old light right, if I can zoom in, right there on that pole. Let me do something here real quick. Well, it's not gonna work. But anyway, I think that is part of the old ski trail. I'm, it's blowing out. I need to adjust the um, thing way down. Now you can see it better. I was blowing it out. I had the exposure turned way up too much, but this is the old ski trail down through here. Possibly. Part of, possibly, this part of the old, uh, ski resort I'm thinking it is because it came down from that mountain and then made an L turn and went on down through here so we're th I'm thinking it come on down through here yeah here's some more picture right there just these are some of the old uh, ski lodges right here, ski cabins, I would say, kind of alpine looking. That's right here dead ahead of us, as you can see on the video, driving video. And then over here are some other ones back out here, right here, back over there. So I think these were probably right along the, the edge of the, uh, the ski slopes that was here at one time. And maybe somebody who knows about this uh, old Sky Valley uh, ski resort can tell us as much. If anybody's ever been up here before. There's the old, the uh, chapel over there, as you can see through the woods. Steeple right there, pretty picture. Oh, this, 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 yes, this, you can see it right here. This is like the base of the slopes right here. You can definitely see it. Let me get my camera out here. Yeah, looking back up the hill, you can see it real Pull into that, why don't you pull down it here? Yeah, hold on just a minute, let me go ahead. Okay, here's what I think probably is the, um, the ski lodge at the base of the slopes. We're gonna pull on around Church here. Now. Yeah, it's a church now, but uh, there's a big parking lot, and you can tell that this was the the um, the ski slopes right here. Looking right back in there, look at that. That is so really neat. Down to that rock pile down there. Yeah. You can see it good. <laughs> that pile of sand right there almost looks like snow in front of us, don't it? That's just sand now. Yep. Slightly that way, you can see it real good. Yep. Let me get out here and stop it. Okay, here we are at the base of what we believe to be the old ski slopes 
of Sky Valley Ski Resort. <clears throat> and, they, and these are some uh, some of the villas or ski cabins, whatever you want to call them. I think we were actually on the upper side of that just a few minutes ago as we were driving around. And let me swing on around here. You can kind of see some of the remnants of the ski slopes back over there coming down through the, the brush and the trees over there. Zoom out here a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah. And see, here's the, the ski lodge down here. Right here. Very pretty. It's a church now. But, uh, See, there's the ski, some of the remnants of the ski slopes. Of course, they don't use them as ski slopes anymore. Probably didn't do too well as a ski resort, but they still have the resort here. Do a lot of other things, like I've said. Uh, they play tennis, pickleball tennis, and they have a big golf course here, and big pool and stuff. A lot of cabins, it's very beautiful. Now I'm gonna swing on around here and show you what's up here on the hill above us. It's the big chapel. It's a beautiful chapel right here. Teresa's already got some photos of that. So I'm just going to take some video of it. Very pretty. All right, back in the car. I'm fixing to leave. We're still down here at the base of the, what we believe to be the old ski left and all. Looks like they're doing some sort of construction. They've got some, a bunch of sand over here, but it's all grown up with weeds, it looks like. So I don't know. Might have been some leftover remnants of uh, some construction that went on, and they just left what was left of the sand piled up there or what. Yeah, if anybody has any information about what, how this place used to be, how big it used to be, or if it was just a ski resort, or, or if it was um, other types of resort, if they had a um, golf course here back in the days when the ski resort was here or not, let us know. Just passed through, it passed into Georgia and Rabin County. Just passed a policeman, too. I don't know what he's doing there, unless he's. Plus, people down, it's only 25 miles an hour here. Is it 25 or 35? 25. Here's your, do you want to stop here? If we can, if we can't, it's fine. It's kind Thanks for watching everyone. 
I had so much footage that I decided to break it into two parts. So this was part one of our three day adventures of our anniversary trip and our return trip home. The second part is soon to come because I've already got it edited and pretty much ready for upload. Sorry for the long wait period between uploads, but right after we got home from our anniversary trip, we were right up against Thanksgiving and trying to get ready for that, and then into the Christmas season we went. So I haven't had as much time to devote to the channel as I would like, but I'm going to try my best right after the start of the new year to get back to producing and uploading videos on a more regular basis. If you like the video, please give it a like. Comment on it if you feel so inclined and feel free to share it with friends and family on social media to get the word out about my channel. Also, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with what I'm doing and when I release new videos on YouTube. I also have a Patreon page, so if you like my content and would like to help support my work, please consider donating a few bucks a month there. I'll put the links to those sites in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching, God bless, and we'll see you in my next video.